Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video I am going to talk about top 10 mediums that I use to clean my oil painting brushes. And the medium at number 1 will blow your mind. Imagine you don't have to clean your brushes in order to clean them. So this was a secret given to me by my mentor Stephen Bauman and I am more than happy to give it to you all. So watch till the end in order to know about it. So without any further ado, let us get into the video and start with number 10. At number 10, we have triple rectify turpentine. Well, this is the most commonly used method of cleaning brushes and is also a solvent which is used in oil paintings. But it might be very lethal for lungs and also some people have allergies with it. Make sure while using turpentine to clean your brushes, you are using gloves and also a mask which is called the organic vapor mask which you can find in Amazon. Why am I telling you to wear? Because the vapor of turpentine on some of the different other mediums which I am going to tell you can cause a toxicity in the body and that is why I would recommend you to wear masks <laughs> while cleaning with them. But one thing, one disadvantage of turpentine is that when it dries it will leave a gummy residue behind which, which is weird. The disposal of triple rectified turpentine is also very difficult. You cannot pour it in the sink because it will clog the sink. While disposing turpentine you have to neutralize it with some soap and then you can throw it away. See I have completely stopped using triple rectified turpentine because I couldn't take the fumes. One most important thing is that do not leave your brushes in turpentine for longer uh, periods of time like days together and because when you'll take out the brushes the brushes will will be bent like this and then you will ask Shraddha you did not tell this. See I am telling you right now do not leave your brushes in turpentine for more than like 10 minutes. At number 9 we have kerosene which is a petroleum product. I got my hands on kerosene when we were in lockdown. Though this medium will also leave a gummy residue behind after it evaporates it can be lethal as well and it is highly flammable. Also you need to wear gloves because the smell of kerosene will not go from your hands even if you are applying soaps multiple times but you can use kerosene just for cleaning now this is not a paint material so make sure the kerosene does not go to your canvas or onto your paints because you can use it for cleaning purposes but cannot use it for your paintings another form of kerosene is called varzol derivative of kerosene would be varzol you can use varzol for cleaning your brushes it will not leave a gummy residue behind it is less likely to affect affect people who have allergies with turpentine so yeah you can use this but only for cleaning purposes at number eight we have rubbing alcohol this is the best among all the spirit mediums well, yes guys you can clean your paint brushes with rubbing alcohol though this is not as good as turpentine or a varsol but can use it to clean it the best part about uh, rubbing alcohol is that it will evaporate and it will leave your brushes dry rubbing alcohol is highly flammable so just be cautious of using it again use masks while using all the these mediums because they can be lethal also to health. At number 7 we have white vinegar which is a natural product and also can be used for cleaning your brushes. Now if you are a lazy painter your oil paint has dried on your brushes then you can use white vinegar to clean them up. The best thing about white vinegar is that it is non-toxic and you can clean your brushes which have dried oil paints on them. White vinegar would be also available in all the stores and you can find it on Amazon as well. At number 6 we have the easiest of all and that is called soap and water. So the best part about soap and water is that it is non-lethal and also you can uh, you can wash it in your sink as well. You can use master brush cleaner. Some people prefer cleaning their brushes with turpentine and then later on with soap and water. Just imagine a brush. Brush is like your hair. So do not leave your brushes in uh, turpentine. The problem with sable brushes is that you do not want to store them in direct sunlight like how my face is right now and you need to take proper care of these brushes when you have cleaned your brush with soap and water you want to condition it properly you can use fabric conditioner to condition your brushes and sometimes people will also use milk product like the casein but the problem with uh, brushes is that they are very costly and you do not want your brushes to get ruined very 
वेरी फास्ट सो दिस माइट ऑल्सो इंक्रीज द लाइफ ऑफ योर ब्रशेज यू वुड हैव सीन वेन यू बाई अ न्यू ब्रश इट इज अ लिटल बिट स्टिफ राइट एंड दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ केस इन सम ऑफ द पेंटिंग्स इन इंडिया आर डन यूजिंग केस इन सो आई विल डिस्क्राइब अबाउट केस इन इन लेटर वीडियो At number फाइव we have non-toxic medium which is salad oil or vegetable oil. Yes, guys, you can use vegetable oil or salad oil to clean your oil painting brushes with. But the problem with these oils is that they don't dry. Like they don't dry at all. So make sure when you are cleaning your brushes that the brushes do not reach your canvas because if they do, there will be a spot in your painting which never dries, no matter whatever you are going to do on that spot. So make sure that you are using paper towel to clean them up and clean them again with soap and water. If you are cleaning with vegetable oil and salad oil, be sure of that it is not reaching your canvas or your oil paints. Till now, till this part of the video, if you find it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well at number 4 we have olive oil and baby oil yes the baby oil which is available in market can also be used for cleaning your oil painting brushes again the problem with these kind of oils is that they will not dry they should not reach your paint or your canvas at all so these two mediums which is salad oil vegetable oil olive oil and your baby oil should not reach your canvas at number 3 we have linseed oil it is having a little bit toxicity some people are allergic to linseed oil but yes instead of using turpentine you can use linseed oils to clean your brushes but make sure that the brushes you are cleaning with linseed oils are not untouched for a longer time because even linseed oil will dry very hard on your brushes now make sure you cleaning those brushes which you are using more often like you do not want to leave them for months together like for weeks together also because linseed oil will eventually dry and make your brushes very sticky also at number 2 we have another oil which is similar to linseed oil called walnut oil some people have allergies with linseed oil so you they can use walnut oil even walnut oil and linseed oil can be used for paintings as well so you do not have to worry at all for paint being transferred on your canvas because anyhow we are using these two oils for oil paintings walnut oils is could be little expensive one more tip i would like to give you is that make sure that all the layers in your oil paintings are consistent in terms of drying time so if you are using one single oil like you are using linseed oil or walnut oil use that oil only throughout your painting in hot and humid climates the paintings might flex and that is why you need to use the same oil throughout your painting there should be consistency in terms of drying or else it might cause major cracking in your paintings as well why do i uh, tell people to wear masks especially in india it's because oil painters are from different countries like us and canada and places there the atmosphere is much cleaner than what we find in india the the government rules are also very strict there about pollution and stuff and that is why little bit of toxicity to them is not going to affect much but we are already inhaling so much of fumes and so much of toxicity so wear masks while handling all these products especially uh, handling turpentine linseed oil walnut oil or kerosene or any aerosol product as oil painters we are very lazy and now that brings us to the number one medium that i use for my brushes that is to never touch water to your brushes and this method was given to me by my coach stephen bowman and it is called oil of clove yes guys this is called the oil of clove the best part about oil of clove is that you do not have to clean your brushes you can just dip them in oil of clove and voila it is gonna be wet for weeks together it is having a very slow drying time so you'll get enough time to you know keep your brushes in that place and can use them again the biggest thing that i would like to tell you is that be consistent with the oil that you're using in a single painting you can buy the essence of oil of clove and it is very expensive also but if you are lazy painter and you want 
want to invest one time in one product i would recommend using oil of clove you do not have to clean your brushes you can just dip them and use them again over painting in fact you can put your oil of clove and increase the drying time of your oil paints well some people prefer a longer drying times oils are already having a longer <laughs> drying time why would you want to have a longer drying time than that it might be because some people might want to work on center focal point a lot and uh, they don't want their paints to dry they want them to blend evenly and nicely so you can increase the drying time with the oil of clove now i hope you liked all these methods and if you did mention which is the method you have been using in your cleaning of the brushes procedure and i would like to know some new methods as well do not forget to comment down below and also subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you in my next one